Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to my private signings slash 2021 channel plans video. So first thing I'm going to do is show you a couple of private signings that I received recently that I um, wanted to show you here. This would have actually been at the very end of 2020 when I got these back. And the first one I'm going to show you, a big shout out to Brett Bashinger. Hopefully that's how you say his name. Um, he put on a organized a Jeff King signing, which is awesome because the only thing I have autographed Jeff King are like two trading cards, which I got in person a long time ago when I was a kid, and some of those team issued photo cards. And now I got him on a baseball, and it came out great. So for my Pirates collection, this is wonderful. He was a really solid player uh, for the Pirates. In the 80s and 90s, he was with the part of those early 90s Pirates teams that were very, very strong. And, um, yeah, so that was great. I got the Jeff King, and it looks great. And the other one I got, this signing was put on through TSE, Total Sports Enterprises. I've had this program for a little bit and just decided next time they had a private signing, I have to go for it. Because an in-person autograph signing opportunity with Rocky Blyer is just not going to probably happen for a while yet. So we got him on this Sports Illustrated. This one item I like a lot more than just any plain old baseball. This is from June 9th, 1975. And got Rocky Blyer's signature with the inscription, Support Our Troops. And this is Beckett Authenticated. So it's a nice touch that TSC is starting to offer that now. And, you know, you have to pay for shipping, return shipping, which I'm actually okay with. Let them worry about it. They ship this in a 11 by 14 top loader in a document mailer back. So that was actually very well done. And this came out looking great. Uh, Rocky Blyer's accomplishments are pretty well known. I mean, he was a four-time Super Bowl champ. He had 1,000 yards rushing. Same year as Franco Harris having a 1,000 yard rushing. But, um... He's also missing part of his foot from, uh, he had shrapnel in his leg too. Uh, it was, you know, from the Vietnam War. Real rough situation and he really fought back, hence the, you know, obvious program cover here. So this was pretty cool. He also had some good moments with Notre Dame. I'm not really all that familiar with it, to be honest with you, but yeah, so those of you who are Notre Dame fans, I'm sure can appreciate Rocky Blyer as well. So, um, great guy, super nice in person, super, super nice in person. I mean, this first guy I showed you, it's like he literally quit MLB as soon as he got 10 years of service, and this guy put in real service, and yeah, I don't want to gripe about Jeff King or overly compliment this guy, but this guy is wonderful. And, um, yeah, so those are my two private signings to finish out 2020. So moving forward for my 2020 channel plans here, let's get these in the background here. Um, first off, I never thought I would have this many subscribers ever. And the community itself, just full of such great people, I really do enjoy doing all this. So, um, in any case, yeah, my plans, I'm going to continue to do three uploads a week. Monday will be TTM Mondays. And then I'll upload another video on Wednesday and on the weekend. That is Wednesday and on the weekends are mostly purchases, whether it's from card shows, uh, local card shops, flea markets, eBay, Facebook, or hopefully signings will happen again, whether it be in-person autograph signings or private signings. I'm going to hold off on buying anything for a while. Once I hit 2021, I'm holding off on buying things for a while. I have enough videos banked to last for at least four months. And I have some, well, not some TTM fuel. I have too much TTM fuel. Heck, last card show I went to, which I haven't even uploaded the videos from that, I spent over five hours there just looking through all these 10 cent boxes of, you know, decent boxes uh, for TTM purposes. So I've got plenty of TTM fuel banked. I want to become more selective of what I buy. I'm going to cut back on purchasing game balls as signings are minimal. I love my MLB authenticated game balls, but it's kind of silly for me to even purchase hardly any of those. I passed up a really good opportunity online for a Pittsburgh Pirates authenticated home run ball. The player who I'm sure I could get it signed, but hold off. I'm good. 
and also, as I've mentioned, I've already got enough cards for TTM purposes. So uh, the only reason why I should be buying purpose cards are specifically for a certain player for TTM or PC. But I don't even want to buy any cards for a while. I want to see how long I can go without buying anything. And if not, just become real darn near selective when I do. And TTMs, this is probably the biggest, as I think most people enjoy my TTM videos the most. I'm going to send out seven requests a week, one for each day. So when 2021 is over, I will have sent out 365 requests. And that's going to be tough because I have a lot of TTM fuel. But this will help me remain focused on collecting who I want and not just sending out as much as I can to whomever will sign. No, 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 no. I have a very specific collection. I don't want to just branch out for the sake of branching out. So I'm going to send out seven a week, which for some people that's a lot, and for some people that's not a lot. But at the same time, that's going to keep me plenty busy and not force me to go out and buy more TTM material. So uh, 365 requests, yeah, that's, that's something I can handle pretty well. That's a lot better than me doing 10 a week, which can be a bit taxing at times. But I am going to start... My Obviously, my Monday videos are going to remain TTM Monday videos, but I'm going to start my next round of Wednesday and weekend video uploads with 2020 top 10 lists. I've already made a top 10 in-person autograph signings from 2020. I've already made a top 10 list of private signings, a top 10 list of TTM non-trading cards. So maybe, maybe, I don't think I'm going to do a fourth top 10 of 2020 of just me looking through all the cards that I got back, but uh, we'll see. In any case, folks, that's the game plan. I got two good signings, a very tough autograph, and a very awesome autograph from a very awesome individual there. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I always appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.